What's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? Good morning. Today is another beautiful day here in South Florida. We are going deep sea fishing today, and I am catching some bait first thing in the morning, some nice sized blue runners to drop on the bottom later today, but today's an exciting day. We are going fishing with my brother, um, US Marine Connor over here, and hopefully we're gonna get him on some fish today. So we got bait, uh, we got a little bit of cloud coverage, and it's not that flat, but also not that rough. So it's really good sign and I'm excited. So let's get out there now. We're already out here, but let's get out there further. Woo, let's kill it. Baby without. Yeah. yeah, let me get underneath these rods. Can you pick up that one, Connor? Okay, we got fish on. I think it's a nice fish too. I'm let Connor reel it in, but we are trying, we're dealing with a lot of conditions. It's a little bumpy out here, but we definitely need three people today. Come on, Connor, come over here. <laughs> and uh, so you're gonna keep it tight. And then so you're just gonna slowly pump up and reel down, just nice and slow, nice and slow movement. Yep, perfect, like that. You don't need to go too violently. Just reel down on them, yep. Don't rip like that, just slowly up, just slowly up. Don't pump them like that, you're gonna rip the hook out. Nice and easy. Watch your language. <laughs> nice and easy. Okay, yeah, nice and easy, just like, you know, reel. Bring it up slow and then just reel down on them. You know, no, no two. Marines are amphibious, you understand? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Okay, we got a 30 pound mono leader and we got a live pilcher down, a nice healthy size one. So we don't know what it is yet, but it could break off. So we, we're just gonna have to find out. He's straight up and down like a tuna, just nice Probably and steady. Bonita, up and down, it looks like a tuna. A pump, so you wanna keep the rod tip down. So you can pull in, that's a tuna. It's a bonita. It's a tuna. Right. Personal experience. Short pumps. Real Feels down. like a bonita, Real but down. hope it's black. Oh, oh baby. Oh yeah. Yeah. So don't bring him out of the water. Right to me. Back up. All right. Go come. Come back over here. Come back over here. Come back over here. Come back over here. Touch the boat, Connor. I don't want the line to touch the boat. Real. Real. You gotta get a pump on him. Boom. We just crushed it. Open that bail, Connor. Every time we catch a fish, you open that bail. Connor just scored. Success already this morning with a beautiful black tuna in the boat. Check it out, hold your fish. Woo. Circle hook in the corner of the mouth. Good thing we got extra pretty, uh, we got some ice this morning to ice down this tuna properly. But that's a nice one for this area. Awesome fish, Woo. here you go. Sweet. It's gonna be a bloody mess, so you can hold them up like that or whatever. Awesome. How big do you think he is? Uh, probably Holding 20. Up. 20. No. <laughs> no, like 10. That's a solid 10 pound blackfin tuna. Look how beautiful he is. 30 pound leader. I knew it was a tuna just by the way he was fighting and doing those death turn those death circles like tuna do. So I'm just gonna get this circle hook out for him. But you can see what the line did, the line wraps fighting him all the way up. It was just across him, but beautiful fish. Look at him. He's all lit up, just like a blackfin should. So now we gotta bleed him. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how I bleed them. Let's go right to the front cooler, Connor. Right around the console. All right. While he's living, I'm just gonna pull pull some of these gills out. A lot of guys will cut them or whatever, but this is. All right. All right. Should be bleeding out now, and we gotta get plenty of ice on them because that's gonna be sushi fish for us. You got a mess. Ah. I know. So I want to go up there or you just right, watch it? Well, Con, well, Con is like on vacation. Well, I thought you were right there. I'm not catching nothing. Hold on, just wait a minute. I don't know what happened, but it got tore off. Oh. Dude. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, this rod loves me today. <laughs> How you doing, Connor? Doing good. I think we wore him out. <laughs> Doing some little run there, but it's all good. Tap to overcome. What do you think it is? Hoping it's out of Anita, but it probably is. <laughs> okay. Give us a bow. Follow your fish. Follow your fish, Connor. Go. Let me get that rod. Now, you know you guys are uh, kind of our saying around here is fish dream inspire. Of course, we're fishing, following our dreams, and hopefully inspiring some of you guys to do the same. That's the idea. And Connor, of course, is in the U.S. Marines, so he's following his dreams of uh, supporting our country, protecting our freedom, as we like to say. We're gonna we're gonna ask him a little bit how he's doing in the Marines. He's gonna be transferred out to the West Coast, and we're gonna. I know you guys are gonna ask his MOS or whatever that thing is called. 
Go around, go under, go underneath. Open over. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Geez, that is a bonita. You got a pretty smooth one. Just keep that line tight, Palmer. You need to get the there. Score, baby! Heck yeah! Crushing it today, boys! That is Woo! Connor! <laughs> That's a slug, buddy! Back to back tunas! It's always a big They're getting fish. bigger, though. This is a solid 15. Nice job, Connor. On the, uh, oh, he just whipped me. On the, uh, Saragoza. And we're using, I think, 30 to 30 or 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, but they're crushing these, these beautiful pilchards today. That's sick, Connor. Cool, cool. You gotta get a picture. Let's get the hook out. That is a beautiful tuna. Okay, chill out, buddy. Did you inhale it? Can you see? Can you inhale it? I'm gonna be using it anyway. Oh. <laughs> this is all. Yeah, rip it. Okay, so we probably should have got more baits out to get another tuna, but instead we decided to take a bunch of pictures, thumbnail pictures and that good stuff, and uh, you can see the, the bloody sea deck is an absolute mess, but we got to get it up quick. We're just going to run some water off of it, the sea, and the sea deck cleans up real quick. So uh, I'm all bloody crazy. This fish put up a heck of a fight for Connor, totally awesome, and he's a stud. This is a nice fish for this area, so I'm really happy. And uh, now we just gotta clean up the boat because I'm about to fall in this blood. Tuna bath. Tuna blood bath, baby. Another beautiful fish. He's probably twice the size of that other guy. Solid, solid tuna. Lots of sushi for us tonight, baby. Connor slaying those fish today. Oh, yeah. When did you join the Marines? October 16th of last year. And you got out of boot camp. You guys can watch that video. It's a great video. Like January 12th or 22nd? 12th. And now you've gone to school. School for what? Aircraft mechanic. What kind of planes are you going to be working on mostly? The F-18 Super Hornet. Woohoo! That sounds pretty exciting. Oh yeah, the engines mostly, but it's going to be fun. I can't wait. For your, for your first official station, right? Yes, I am. And I understand, where's that? The West Coast. The West Coast. You can't tell us anywhere more specific because it's high national security. It is. Because <laughs> his job is what your job? Aircraft mechanic. Protecting our freedom. Oh, protect <laughs> Protecting our freedom. That's what you like to tell me all the time. <laughs> thank you. Thank me for my service, Brian. You're very welcome. For My freedom is very well protected, I feel. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not these fish's freedom, though. We eat them. No, that's uh, right. We don't protect the fish's freedom. We slay fish, protect mm -hmm. you. All right. Let's catch. Let's get kind of some a mutton now, Sizzle. Yeah. Yeah. No. He's on. Oh, nice, Connor. Don't real. Don't real. Let him run. That's enough for him to turn. Nice job. Okay, that's it. That's it. There you go. Good job. Zeke, no, you got to throw him back. He's small. All right, we're just going to throw him back. He's small. All right, this is a small kingfish. He might be legal, but I'm going to throw him back anyway. All right. Sizzle, how'd you get blood on your back? I have no idea. Oh, I know. When I bent down, yeah, it's still in my hair. Yes. Fish bud and guts in my hair. That's when I bent down to mess with the fish and I saw it go in my hair. So it's probably from my hair rubbing on my back. But I'm absolutely covered in tuna blood. This is how the real, real wicked tuna people do it. Yeah. <laughs> tuna fish, baby. We're trying something a little different now. We are fishing in deep water, looking for the mutton snappers as well. But now we are on fishing a patch reef and we just put some chum out. And I'm trying to catch ballyhoo, live ballyhoo, which is a great bait just in general. And you know, you got if you guys know, if you offshore fish, you use those for even trolling. So they're great to catch, dead or alive, awesome. But these are arbiting hooks that I'm using. And you can use like tiny little pieces of bait. I actually have a piece of squid on here. And uh, you could use little tiny pieces of shrimp. That will work too. But number six size arbiting hook on this is a, I believe this is 12 pound test on this little reel, this little rod right here, a bass rod. And what I do is I just let it back with the chum. So the chum started to flow out. We got all these ballyhoo behind the boat. So I'm just going to let this out and free line it. And it's going to be presented naturally to these ballyhoo. And then hopefully they're going to just eat it, no problem. Oh, you just spit it. 
and, uh, and then I'm gonna reel them in like that. So that way, you know, the bait is gonna be very much more alive compared to cast netting these guys. So there we go, just got one just like that. In the boat he comes, very lively bait. We got Connor on the uh, de-hooking method. Oh, He's learning yeah. slowly but surely. Yep, oh, put him in the water. Yeah. Hold him down tighter here. Hold it better. Yeah, yeah, line down. Okay. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just like that every time. Perfect. And uh, the trick is just to really make sure that it's free line back there because Ballyhoo are smart and they will not eat it if they see it has tension on the line or it's not floating properly. So, uh, so I'm going to catch a couple more. Then we're going to drop them down. Hopefully get snappers or some grouper or something other, other good fish around this area and Connor will catch a few Ballyhoo. So uh, we're having a blast. Maybe I'll throw the cast net on them too, but they're getting real thick. Oh my gosh, there's hundreds. I was going to mention about those ballyhoo, they're not very hardy, which means they die easily. So you don't want to be touching them. Uh, that's why we're using a hook remover and catching them one at a time. If you throw the net on them, you can definitely do that, but a lot of them are going to die. Uh, so that's why we're not doing that right now. But uh, we're going to do that probably in a little bit, and that way we have ballyhoo patrolling later. And if you buy ballyhoo, you know they're like a buck a piece, so nice. Okay, so that spot didn't work, our sizzle. No. <laughs> but you got to try new things out here, guys. But we got bait. We got a lot of ballyhoo. Yep. Uh, coaches left over. Yep. So in other words, you never know. Pretty much. You gotta be fishing. Yeah. Always be fishing. Exactly. Keep on catching. I would stay out here all afternoon, but Connor's tired and uh, wants to go in. and keeps asking right. to go in. <laughs> when are we going in? When are we going when in? When are we going in? When are we going in? He's gotta catch up gotta, on his beauty sleep. And, and, we, and we got a big call with Landshark Lager. We have a call with Landshark Lager, and we have YouTube videos to publish. And yes, we got a video. nice first video so, coming up from our trip. Yeah. Oh. That's already, you guys already saw all those videos. Hope you liked them. Hope you liked those Antigua videos. Yes. Oh, and about the cooler, we put some Mai in a cooler in one of our past videos, and everyone complained and said oh, we should have a bigger cooler. We do have a bigger cooler. We just don't have a bigger boat to put it on. Yeah. It takes up too much room. Exactly. <laughs> we have plenty of coolers from wonderful Grizzly, but uh, that one fits on our boat the best, and it matches. Exactly. So usually you don't put Mai straight in a cooler. You put them in a fish box, which yeah. uh, we should have done, but they were so small they fit in the cooler. Yeah. So we don't need a bigger cooler. We need bigger fish. Exactly. I thought I'd come I'd out here fish. and slay the mutton snappers again today, and that's totally the opposite. So that's why it's just a brand new day, day to day, and that's why it's so cool to come out here and fish because you never know what to expect, literally. I expect you to catch a fish. Back home from fishing, and it's pouring rain, so good thing we were able to get out there while we could in the morning time and slay the fish with Connor, Sea Hill also known as Ura Hill, <laughs> is here. And we're gonna have rain for the next couple days, but we gotta get out there tomorrow and fish with him again. We got the big tuna. Oh guys, by the way, I do have a grizzly cooler that fits bigger size fish, because I know you guys said that to me in the last video. So nice big cooler. You see our big old uh, black fin tuna in here. Connor is going to weigh about really quick. What do you think it's gonna weigh? 25. I think it's gonna weigh 27. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Brian, how much so do you think it's gonna weigh? We got our. It's gonna. Yeah, what do you think it's, it's gonna, gonna be weigh? It's gonna be right in there. It's what do you. Be... <laughs> pick, a, pick a thing. Pick a weight. 24. Be fun. It's gonna be 24. Okay, so we got a scale right up here, ready to go. Connor is going to do. That's right, just... a good job. All right, so you're gonna try to open his mouth the other way around. He has a nice fat fish. And we're gonna try to hook his lip right in that corner, right up in there. So let me see if I can get it in there for you. You got it? Lift it up a little higher. Yeah. All right, Amazing. drop slow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He definitely had a solid couple pounds on him, but he's officially 23 on the scales, so still a beautiful fish for us and a beautiful fish for this area. We don't get to catch big blackfin like that that often, so nice job, Connor. It's time to fillet him up. Cool. We're just inspecting this big blackfin tuna, and tuna, what's really cool about them is they're so streamlined, because that way they, they're meant to, you know, basically swim through the water really fast. And the way he's even streamlined, like this whole fin just disappears inside the body, which is like really crazy. And it's like an indentation for the fin to be right there, which is pretty cool. But it is time to fillet up my fish here with the bubble blade knives. We are going to have tons of sushi and seared tuna and all kinds of good stuff. And hopefully Connor will make some sushi for us. But epic day on the water. Big black friends are around right now, which is good to know. And um, we can't wait to get back out there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you have fun on the water? Oh yeah, definitely. Connor literally got blisters on his fingers from reeling in fish. So I think that's that's a good thing when that happens. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, make sure you tune into Connor. Follow him on Instagram if you want to see what he's doing in the Marine Corps and all that good stuff. It's Connor underscore Airhill. Link is in the description below for his Instagram as well. And until our next adventure, Follow your dreams and keep on catching. Oh my god, it's so much stuff.
What the heck? Let me make this. Slip. Whoa! There's like a solid four or five different species of fish in here. That's wild. What is this? Probably part of that fish. It's all orange.